Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast Discussions on my favorite games, movies, TV shows, anime, comic books, collectibles, and other fun content for gamers and geeks. I'm your host, Jeremy. Welcome to the show. Hello, welcome back to the show, Video Gamers Oasis, playful podcast, and I'm your host, Jeremy, and we're doing another uh, installment of the Shigeru Miyamoto research. I have a real passion for learning about his works. He did some really awesome video games with some really uh, enjoyable and uh, lovable cartoon-like character, video game characters that we've all come to love. Many of us have loved Mario, Link, Zelda, uh, Luigi, uh, Toad, all the lovable uh, uh, cartoony-like characters, uh, the the Super Smash Brothers series. Lots of fun with those characters. Uh, and we're going to continue on with the research on wikipedia.org. I, pre- I encourage you to do your own research, uh, but this is just, just giving you um, the source material for my research. I'm researching 2000 to 2011 GameCube, Wii, and DS. And I just want, before I begin, I just, this is the, would mark the first episode uh, in my podcast series where I'm, I've set up a new station. I'm in, still in the process of, of tweaking it and making it more um, professional, more um, streamlined, but I'm building like a little bit of a podcast station that's going to have more sound proof walls. Uh, somewhat and it's going to have a little separate it's a separate computer with the same computer as my graphic design that i do graphic design away from my gaming computer gaming and, and movie computer uh, i have two computers now uh the the regular computers for gaming and movies and this computer that i'm recording the podcast is on a computer that i've inherited from my dad he has he's recently bit, bought a brand new pc super duper fast for his uh he writes newsletters and does some does some desktop publishing so he has a, a brand new computer for his zoom as well and um he gave me his old computer which is so awesome and i've connect i've been able to using my d link i was able to successfully connect uh the internet from both uh for both my my main gaming computer to my um new graphic design and podcast computer this is going to be a lot of fun I'll be able to, you know, devote all my graphic design and podcasting to one computer while all my gaming and movie watching will be on the other. So this is going to be working a lot better than before, and it's going to allow, allow me to give you better quality podcasts that won't have a lot of noise and sound uh, around me. Of course, there's always room for improvement, so I, your patience is appreciated. Thank you so much for working with me or wait, uh, you know, being patient with me as I slowly evolve and, and transform and try to improve my quality of my presentations to make sure that you, I'm giving you the best quality podcast and video editing experience. And I'm always learning. Uh, this video, this podcast will be made into a video on my YouTube channel, Video Gamers Oasis on YouTube. If you haven't already, please subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified of future videos. This will also be shared on my website, videogamersoasis.com. Still in the process of getting a, a, a system going where I can share videos and share podcasts. So your patience in this regard is appreciated. I hope you're having a great holiday season, whatever denomination you belong to. Uh, make sure you sh- show lots of love to your family and friends. We could always use more compassion and affection during these times, uh, these tough times, but I'm sure we're going to get through this. I am confident this is, this is an ordeal, just like in a video game. There's a hero has to go through some painful and frightening ordeals, but the hero will come out stronger and wiser than before. So we're researching after we last episode, we researched 
1990 to 2000, the Super NES, Nintendo 64, Super Mario 64, and Ocarina of Time. Now we're researching 20. We're researching the year 2000 to the year 2011. GameCube, Wii, and DS. And this is from the Wikipedia.org research on Shigeru Miyamoto. I encourage you to do your own research, but I'm going to share it with you because I have a great love and, and enjoyment in researching this information. <clears throat> Miyamoto produced various games for the GameCube, including the launch title Luigi's Mansion. The game was first revealed at Nintendo Space World 2000 as a technical demo designed to show off the graphical capabilities of the GameCube. Miyamoto made an original short demo of the game concepts. And Nintendo decided to turn it into a full game. Luigi's Mansion was later shown at E3 2001 with the GameCube console. Excuse me. <laughs> Miyamoto continued to make additional Mario spin-offs in these years. He also produced the 3D game series Metroid Prime, which I played myself, a lot of fun, after the original designer Yokoi, a friend and mentor of Miyamoto's, died. In this time, he developed Pikmin, another fun game that I played, and its sequel, Pikmin 2, based on his experiences gardening. <laughs> Did he encounter fairies or aliens? He also worked on new games for the Star Fox, Donkey Kong, F-Zero, and the Legend of Zelda series on both the GameCube and the Game Boy Advance systems. With the help of Hideo Kojima, he guided the developers of Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Snakes. He helped with many games on the Nintendo DS, including the re remake of Super Mario 64, titled Super Mario 64 DS, and the new game, Nintendo Dogs, a new franchise based on his own experiences with dogs. He's, I, I like how he's adapted many of his personal experiences into imaginative games. Miyamoto played a major role in the development of the Wii, a console that popularized motion control gaming and its launch title Wii Sports, which helped show the capability of the new control scheme. Miyamoto went on to produce other titles in the Wii series, including Wii Fit. His inspiration for Wii Fit was to encourage con conversation and family bonding. I remember when the Wii was first released, I had some friends who would have me over for some snacks and beer or whatever, and we would uh, play Wii together. We would play Wii tennis and boxing, and we play some guest, you know, play some other games like some uh, non, you know, some unusual, some other brand games like a fire truck game and uh, action, you know, shooters with the Wii controllers. It was a lot of fun. How they were very much modeled after nunchucks and we could move our arms back and forth in control it was a real good workout with the arms unfortunately they didn't have the Wii Fit uh, that would be fun to have but uh, still moving the arms back and forth is a lot more athletic than just sitting in a, a couch and uh, holding the controller with both thumb, thumbs and fingers uh, it's a real good workout moving your arms like that a lot of fun yeah, it uh, brings back some fond memories. Moving on. At E3 2004, Miyamoto unveiled The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, appearing dressed as the protagonist Link with a sword and shield. Also released for the GameCube, the game was among the Wii's launch titles and the first in the Zelda series to implement motion controls. He also helped with The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, which featured more accurate motion controls. 
He also produced two Zelda titles for the Nintendo DS. The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass and The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracts. These were the first titles in the series to implement implement touch screen controls. Miyamoto produced three major Mario titles for Wii from 2007 to 2010. Super Mario Galaxy, Super no, New Super Mario Brothers, Wii, and Super Mario Galaxy 2. What an awesome lineup of GameCube, Wii, and DS games. I would appreciate your feedback. Uh, you can leave your comments at any time. Uh, what are your favorite memories from the 2000 to 2011 Nintendo era? Uh, did you enjoy the GameCube? Did you enjoy the Wii? Did you enjoy the Nintendo DS? And what games did you play a lot with your friends and by yourself? Leave your comments below. I appreciate your feedback. I appreciate also your likes for my YouTube channel, Video Gamers Oasis. And don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell on my YouTube channel. And I appreciate your feedback and comments on my podcast on anchor.fm. Well, that's all the time we have for this uh, video and this audio podcast. Next time, we'll be uh, researching further into Shigeru Miyamoto. And we're going to be researching further in the wikipedia.org page. We're going to be researching 2011 to present. We, you... 3DS, Switch, and other projects. Thanks for watching, folks. I appreciate your feedback, and I appreciate your support in this new project that I'm undertaking with my website, videogamersoasis.com. It's our companion project with the podcast. Thank you so much for your support, and we'll talk to you again real soon. Have a great holiday season. I will we'll talk to you again in another episode of Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast. I'm your host, Jeremy. Till next time. Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcasts would like to thank this episode's sponsor, Mogo Crypto. Mogo's got the triple threat free dollars to buy Bitcoin, free ID fraud protection, and the free Mogo card that helps you save money and fight climate change took me two minutes to sign up. Check it out. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash two capital K lowercase L capital B lowercase L lowercase R cap capital O. Click that link and you can sign up on the web page that co coincides with that link. Video Gamers Oasis Website YouTube Channel